Winter comes after fall. Night comes after day. Difficulty follows opportunity. Recession always comes after expansion. It's been the rhythm of life for the last, last 6,000 years of recorded history. So the winters are going to come. The winter of sickness, the winter of disappointment, the winter of devastation, social winters, economic winters, personal winters when your heart is smashed in a thousand pieces and the nights are unusually long. It's simply called winter time. But the winters are inevitable. So it has been for the last six and a half thousand years recorded history. You say, well, Mr. Rohn, what can I do about the winters of life? Here's what's exciting about the passing of time. It takes you through whatever you're experiencing at the moment. That's what time will do, take you through the winter. Now, how do you handle the winters? Make this little note, you can get better and you can get stronger and you can get wiser. There's no winter that you can't overcome. There's no winter that you can't figure out how to survive. You must look out for your enemies. And believe me, we're gonna have some. There's gonna be political enemies. There's gonna be social enemies. There's gonna be people that'll be envious and they will not be your friend. I want you to ponder these four questions. Here's the first one and that's why. Why pay the price? Why work this hard? Why go this far? Why try to learn this much? Why try to do it all? Why try to see it all? Why try to have it all? Why study? Why put yourself out? Why try to take on this much responsibility? Why develop yourself to the full? Why try to become all that you can possibly become? Why try to earn as much as you can earn? Share as much as you can share? develop every skill you possibly can, see every human you possibly can, go to every class you possibly can, touch everybody you possibly can. Why do that much? Why go that far? Why share that much? Why give that much away? Why try to see everything? Why try to do everything? Do everything? Why try to become everything? That's a good question, why? And you're the only one personally that can answer that question for yourself You've got to have your own list of whys. Work on your list of whys. One of the big thrusts for success is to come up with a strong enough why. In leadership training, here's what we learn. If the why is powerful, the how is easy. But if the why isn't strong, if your goals aren't powerful, if the vision isn't clear, the old prophet said, without a vision, we die. Without a vision, we perish. Without a dream, we're nothing. From the movie, The Professionals, from the movie, The Professionals, it said, we joined because we believed. We stayed because we were committed. We left because we were disillusioned, but we came back because we were lost. Without a dream, we are nothing. I'm asking you to sit down with your family and develop a dream strategy. I'm asking you to make a list of what you, what you want. What kind of health do you want? What kind of skills do you want? What kind of income do you want? What kind of gifts do you wish to bestow? What kind of power would you like to have? What kind of influence would you like to have? I'm asking you to go home and work on the why. I'm asking you to have a vision. Now here's number two. Here's another good answer to why. It's the second question, why not? Why not see how much you can earn? Why not see how much you can learn? Why not see how many skills you can develop? Why not see what kind of person you can become? Why not see what kind of influence you can have? Why not see how many people you can rescue from oblivion? I want you to establish some of your goals. I want you to give thoughtful consideration to your goals. And why not? If a farm boy can wander out of Idaho, and finally arrive at this extravaganza, why not you? If we've got good health for many, why not the rest? If it's happened for you, why not others? And why not you? I want you to take that personal. Why not? Why not? You've got to stay here till you go. I mean, what else are you gonna do? Why not see how much you can do, how far you can go? Now here's number three, why not you? I wish I could say that to each of you individually but it would take a couple of lifetimes. 
to sit down and talk with each of you individually. But I would rather do that. I'd rather sit down and talk with you and your family with the fire burning in the living room than to be standing on this platform. That's my true desire. I'd love to talk to you and your children face to face. That's what I'd really like to do. I'd love to spend a couple of days with each of you personally and pour out my heart, my soul, my soul. What's going on in my head? What's going on with me? See if we couldn't connect and find something valuable. But time doesn't permit for us to have those intimate conversations and get to know each other that well. So I've got to do it from up here. But I want you to take it personal. And my personal question to you is why not you? You've got the brains. You can make decisions. You can study the plan. You can change your life. You can grow immensely in the next few years. You can make your dreams come true. You can build a financial wall around your family. Nothing can get through. You can become healthy. You can become powerful. Why not you? And I'm here to say that I'm ready to pledge my support to make your personal dreams come true. I asked the question, why not you? But I'm not going to ask it and just walk away. I'm going to ask it and walk with you. And now here's my last question. My very on the questions to ponder is why not now? There never was a better time. And what a time now for us to take this dream and not let it die. Take this dream and give it life. Take this dream and breathe into it your own personal spirit until finally it becomes a flame that burns around the whole world. Let's go do it now. It's not what happens that determines the major part of your future not what happens. What happens, happens to us all. The key is what you do about it. It's not what happens, it's what you do about it. And he said, if you will start that process of change, do something different the next 90 days than you did the last 90 days, like picking up the books to read. Do something different like the new health disciplines, relationship with your family, whatever it is, doesn't matter how small it is. If you'll start doing different things, with the same circumstances, since we cannot change the circumstances, but we can change ourselves. We can change what we do. And then he gave me another secret to success when he said, what you have at the moment, Mr. Rohn, you've attracted by the person you've become. What you have at the moment, you've attracted by the person you've become. Few little simple principles here. Once you understand these, it starts to explain so much. Now, sometimes it's a little tough to take, blaming yourself instead of the marketplace, taking responsibility instead of putting it off on someone else. Those, that transition sometimes is a challenging mission. And this one was a little tough for me. He said, Mr. Owen, you've got pennies in your pocket. You've got nothing in the bank. The creditors are calling. You're behind on your promises. And he says, here's how that occurs. You've attracted, up until now, you've attracted the things to you because of the person you've become. Now, now I said, well, how can I change all that? He said, very simple. If you will change, everything will change for you. You don't have to change what's outside. All you've got to change is what's inside. To have more, you simply have to become more. And then he said, don't wish it was easier. Wish you were better. Don't wish for less problems. Wish for more skills. Start working on yourself, making these personal changes. And he said, it'll all change for you. I got a telephone call five years ago company said, we're ready to expand internationally. We need some help. I was sort of semi-retired looking for the next exotic beach. They said, no, no, Mr. Rohn, we've got a project for you. We're going to expand internationally. We could use your help. Next little while, we'll add some millions to your fortune, make it worth your while. I said, okay. I thought later, isn't that interesting that they called me? My second thought was, of course they'd call me. Who else would they call? I mean, you know, I could get the job done. Now, how come, how come I got a telephone call worth millions? I had become valuable. Now, I'm a farm boy from Idaho. I was raised in obscurity. One year of college, and I thought I was thoroughly educated. Made all kinds of mistakes galore. At age 25, the creditors are calling me saying, hey, you told us the check was in the mail. I got pennies in my pocket. I got nothing in the bank. I'm behind on my promises. How come I get a telephone call five years ago and it's worth millions? I changed, I changed, I turned my life around. Is it possible to become worth millions? 
speaking economically now there's a lot of values to become but let's just talk economics is it possible to become that valuable and the answer is of course of course now let me give you the secret show said here's the secret mr own learn to work harder on yourself than you do on your job once i got that it turned my life around learn to work harder on yourself than you do on your job he said, if you work hard on your job, you'll make a living. If you work hard on yourself, you can make a fortune. If you would have known me at age 25, you would have said, Jim Rohn's a hard worker. If you'd have known me, you'd have said that. I'm the guy, I don't mind coming a little bit early, staying a little bit late, I don't mind that. You'd have said, well, Jim Rohn's a hard worker. You say, well, how come he's got pennies in his pocket and nothing in the bank and behind on his promises? Well, I was a hard worker, but I was working hard on my job, not on my so I'm telling you, if you'll learn that simple little principle and start the process today, latest tomorrow, I'll give you tonight to think it over and start this whole process of personal development, work on yourself, make yourself more valuable to the marketplace. I'm telling you, you can so dynamically change your income and economics is the least of the values that you can start earning in terms of equity. If you'll start working harder on yourself than you do on your job. Work hard on yourself and develop the graces. I'm telling you, your whole life can explode into change. Promotions, no problem. Becoming more valuable to the company, I'm telling you, no problem. Money, no problem. Economics, no problem. Future, no problem. If you just go to work on the right thing, not get things out there to change. Don't try to change the seed. Don't change the soil. Don't change the sunshine. Don't change the rain. Don't change the mix of seasons. Let the miracle of everything that's available work for you and start working on the inside. Work on your philosophy, work on your attitude, work on your personality, work on your language, work on the gift of communication, work on all of your abilities. And if you'll start making those personal changes, I'm telling you, everything.